So before the season, I made my preseason predictions like a lot of people have done. How have I done so far? This is an update video where I was right, where I was wrong. Week 12 of college football. All right. Uh, have I, how have I done so far with my postseason predictions in 2023? I was dead wrong about USC. All right. That's where it starts. I thought Lincoln Riley would finally learn his lesson, but he didn't. You have to be complimentary to win college football games, and that means you should believe in defense. <laughs> um, this goes back to his Oklahoma days. I should have known better. I had USC going 12-1 and and becoming Pac-12 champions. That's not going to happen. I had them going 11-1 in the regular season and facing Utah 11-1 in the regular season in, the, in their uh, conference championship game. Neither of those teams are going to be there. I was wrong about both of them. But I never thought before the season that Cam Rising would not come back for Utah. So that's the reason they did not make it. I really believe that. USC didn't make it because they are not a complete team. All right. I was wrong in another instance as well. I had a Mountain West team being the group of five representative in the New Year's Six Day games. I thought they, you know, they could have a team that I believe you have to be ranked 14 and above before you're automatically guaranteed a spot as a G5 team. Rules change every year, so but that's what it used to be, and that's not going to happen. Tulane, though, uh, is 9-1, and one, and they are not ranked in the top 14. Liberty is 10-0. and 0. Toledo is 9-1 and one out of the MAC. Can James Madison get in there? No, because the NCAA denied their request of a leniency and letting them in. They just joined a Power 5 uh, or just joined the FBS, so they have to go through a vetting process or whatever. It's just stupid. They're 10-0. They are really good, and they should be able to be in postseason play, in my opinion. But let's talk about where maybe I was right here. I had Florida State 11-2, and two, and they were going to go to the Orange Bowl, in my opinion. They might be better than that uh, because they are 10-0 and 0 right now. Florida State can win out and make the playoff. Yes, so they could take USC's spot <laughs> that I had. Uh, three of my four playoff teams are still in it right now, and I'll give you them at the end of the video, but... We're going conference by conference here, where I was right, where I was wrong. Here we go. I had Clemson. I had Clemson playing Florida State and losing to Florida State. But it looks like it's going to be Louisville or North Carolina, and they play each other this weekend. So that will be an interesting game. Who will Florida State play? Alabama, I had... Uh, I had 11 and 1 and missing the SEC championship game because I thought they would lose to LSU in the regular season, but they dominated there. Now it's Alabama versus Georgia. Uh, Alabama is 9 and 1, Georgia 10 and 0. Oh. I think they're on a collision course now, of course. Like I said, I thought Alabama uh, and LSU would have a shot at the playoff along with Georgia. Depends on who wins uh, and who loses. Does Florida State lose their conference championship game? Does uh, Washington lose this weekend to Oregon State like I have predicted? There are some factors where Alabama can sneak in here. But we're talking about uh, the Big 12 in Texas has something to say about that right now. I had <clears throat> Texas making the playoff, even though I did not have them beating Alabama in the regular season. Uh, instead, they lost to Oklahoma. <laughs> but 
if Texas went out, can Texas win out? If they can, they will be in the playoff. They are nine and one as of right now. I had them in at twelve and one in the preseason. But they need help. They need help from Washington or another undefeated team, say. Uh, well, the winner of Michigan, Ohio State is going to be in, of course. And then you're left with three. <clears throat> you're still with four undefeated teams. So Texas needs one of them undefeated teams to lose to get into the playoff and make me look good. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> but in the Big 12, I had Texas playing Kansas State. Kansas State was my second best team going into the season. I thought they would go 10 and 3, losing to Texas in the conference championship game. That is still possible because they are 7 and 3 right now. Uh, there are four teams tied at 5 and 2 in the Big 12 conference. Kansas State is one of them. They can win their last two, and some of the other teams can lose one of them. And Kansas State is right there with Texas. Now, with or without Harbaugh, it doesn't matter. I had Michigan go 13-0 preseason. They're 10-0 right now, regardless of acquisitions and uh, accusations. And going without Harbaugh for four games already, so far, the first three of the season and versus Penn State, I don't think the last two will bother the University of Michigan or the players in this game. They are going to be uh, dominant versus Maryland, and then it's the Ohio State game in the end. But the winner of that game goes to the Big Ten Championship game. The loser stays home. Will Ohio State backdoor themselves in yet again? I don't think so. Because Michigan's going to go on the road, or going to the conference championship game, and it's going to be versus Iowa is what I had, and it looks to be like that is going to be the case. Iowa was the team. <clears throat> they are, I had them going 10-3. and three. They are currently 8-2 and two right now and lead the division. What does this all mean? Um, what, you know, I was right and I was wrong, but I think ultimately Washington and Louisville are going to lose this week, giving way to Texas and Alabama uh, to have a shot, both of them to have a shot at the playoff. Alabama will be the one on the outside looking in unless they beat Georgia then they could leave Georgia on the outside looking in. Three of my four uh, playoff teams are still intact. Michigan is 10-0. Georgia is 10-0. And Texas is 9-1. USC was number four, but Alabama was number five. So I'm pretty close here. Pretty, uh, pretty close. Uh, you can go watch all the videos that I did, the conference uh Basically, you know, kind of a win total videos for every conference. I'm not doing too shabby here. I hate to brag, but I'm going to right now. Uh, it's going good here for Dependent Phonetics. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And you know what? Go, go blue. Say go blue because this thing is getting ridiculous. We don't need sign stealers. We don't need Harbaugh. We don't need anybody. This team is elite. Let's go. Thanks, everybody, and have a great night.